Local scientists are fighting bark beetles that are killing local pine trees. They've dubbed their efforts beetle mania, and they're using rock music as an auditory weapon. Bonnie Stevens with the Ecological Restoration Institute has the story. This is the sound of western forests under attack. And this is the sound of forest researchers fighting back. Barely a quarter of an inch long, the Ips bark beetle and its cousins are chewing the life out of ponderosa, pinion, and lodgepole pines, tunneling through millions of acres of trees already stressed by drought and overcrowded conditions. I had read an article in the, the daily newspaper that uh, bark beetles had killed 74 million trees here in Arizona and New Mexico in the last five years, and I started thinking about it, that somebody should do something about it. And uh, the idea came to me, sonic bullets. Firing sonic bullets into beetle-infested pine slices in a lab at Northern Arizona University is truck driver turned research assistant, Reagan McGuire. Well, I started thinking what was the, the, the nastiest or the most um, offensive sound I could think of and was the sound of Rush Limbaugh's voice. I gotta love this. I have an AP news alert here. Queen, Guns N' Roses, you know, heavy metal. So our interest is to use acoustic sounds to uh, put into substrates to make beetles uncomfortable or stressed or not want to be in that that environment. NAU School of Forestry entomologist Dr. Richard Hofstetter says the most stressful sounds seem to be coming from the bugs themselves, only manipulated to sound like intruders. We can make the female tunnel away from her mate to our speaker. Uh, she may think that our speaker is a big powerful male. We can disrupt mating, we can disrupt tunneling, we can reduce reproduction, uh, we can also cause uh, beetles to be very aggressive to each other uh, when normally they would not. What's being dubbed beetle mania may have serious implications on this damaging pest's ability to do serious damage. These photos show a British Columbia invasion that has wiped out 10 million acres. So in the spotlight and under the microscope, bark beetle communication is being studied by forest science students like Casey Icheraldi. If we know how they hear and what they hear, then we could um, potentially disrupt that behavior. In the meantime, the forest is blanketed in snow and many of the bark beetles are hibernating inside the trees where they will wake up to a feast of forest. But inside the lab, scientists are standing by, waiting to greet the sleepy pests with what they hope will be a rude awakening. We will, we will you. Bonnie Stevens for Inside NAU.